Monsoon, which is a, a Vietnam set British drama from Hong Kao who made uh, Lilting from 2014, which is very good. So Henry Golding, who's probably best known for Crazy Rich Asians, is Kit, who's a young man returning to the country of his birth for the first time in decades to scatter his parents' ashes. When he gets there, he has encounters with estranged relatives, but also with this handsome young American, played by Park Sawyers, whose father was in the Vietnam War. And those encounters make him question his purpose and his heritage and how much he belongs anymore. Here's a clip. So how are you finding District 2? That doesn't feel like the rest of Saigon. I mean, there are some parts that remind me of the Vietnam that I grew up in. Mainly the poorer parts. But that street behind the hospital. When we first met, you said it was your first time here. Did I? Yeah, you did. I lied. Sorry. Why? Keep it simple. You just can't get enough of me, can you? I have that effect. <laughs> you get a sense from that clip of the of the kind of the gentle tone of the film. It's very low key. Actually, I think for some people it may be too low key. If what you want is great big emotional climaxes, that's not what you get. Um, what you get is this story of somebody who, when they're you know, they first arrived, they kind of feel like a tourist in their own land. It was reminding me of that Gang of Four song, actually. Um, but what happens is that the film finds a parallel between our central character and, uh, you know, and the land to which he has returned, that they have both changed, that they have both become different. And it's about the bonds and the separation between them. I actually thought it was very affecting. It's uh, shot by Benjamin Kraken, who's, who's, um, whose CV includes, for those in peril, which I loved, Hyena, which is a very good looking film, Beasts, Beast and Beats, weirdly enough. And it's, it's, absolutely one of those films that it it makes you watch the wider picture what you're not waiting for is kind of you know uh, endless narrative developments what you're doing is kind of breathing in the atmosphere of the place and taking in the mood i i found it very affecting i do think that for some people it will be almost too low key to you know to to, to immediately grab your interest but if you give it time if you succumb to its rhythms then i think you will find a lot that's rewarding it's in some cinemas it's a small cinema release but it's also available on digital it's called monsoon